A very pleasant good night, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the Blue Caribbean Sea in this part four video. Brothers and sisters, I was watching a video about Dan Barker, who was once a Christian for 28 years, so he claimed, but now he's a... He's an um, atheist. He do not believe in the Bible. He doesn't believe in God. I was watching a debate on one of his videos on YouTube, and the person he was discussing the debate was let me spell his name. Is um, let me spell the name of the person. D E S O U Z A. No, no, no. The name of the person is um, Dan Barker vs. Dan Baker was, so let me spell the person name. His first name is D I D I N E S H. In case D E S O U C A. The title of the video was We Do Not Know, We Human Beings or Mankind Do Not Know That God Exists. I just want to say to Dan Barker, your little Christian brother Eric Braxton, way down in the West Indies, I believe in God. I believe in what the Bible says. I have no doubts. I know that the Bible is the words of God. And I understand the scriptures, my dear friend. And I is not denying the existence of God because Psalms 14 said, A fool in his heart say, There is no God. When all the evidence is in front of my face that God exists, which is creation. So Dan Barker, Dan Baker, or Barker, Baker, you said that you for 40 something years or 25 years you was a Christian, you believe in the Bible, you sing the songs, you preach a gospel, you tell others about, about Christ. But you did you start having doubts in the scriptures and saying the Bible is not true, it's a bunch of mythology and it is a makeup, men make up the Bible and God did not speak to man and now you are denying the Adam and Eve story, even the flood and all the wars of Canaan with Joshua and you, you deny what the scriptures say and you're saying it and you put it in the same level as Greek mythology. My dear friend, I want you to know that the Bible is true and the words of God is true. Because there's no other book upon you that's the Bible. The, the, world, the world number one household book is the Bible. And every day it is selling, selling as hot bread. You better believe that, my dear friend. Dan Baker, Parker, I see that you have a, a big following on YouTube because many, millions of people are watching your videos all over the world. Many people are vexed with you by criticizing the Bible and saying God doesn't exist, which, is, which they, are, they have all right to do that, and that you're no longer a Christian, and now, now you are claiming to be the number one leading atheist in the world today, champion the gospel of atheism, well that gospel of atheism that you are champion is a false gospel because God exists, and all the bands of followers that you are getting, new found fans, new found followers, and appreciators of Jim Dan Baker because they accept what you are saying with all the forums and lectures on TV and radio and people that you are meeting this discuss and denying the existence of God and they accept what you are saying and they are now becoming the new generation of atheists because you are leading them as, as the chief atheist in the world today hear what Christ said if the blind lead the blind, both of them will fall in a ditch. And therefore, since a fool in a sad say there is no God, then you are saying that God doesn't exist. Therefore, Dan Barker, you have qualified now to be a fool. Because a fool in a sad say there is no God. And I, I cannot change that. You cannot change that. God is saying in his word, any person that denies that he doesn't exist is a fool. But how can God say that? Yes, he could say that. Which in fact, he did say that. By putting the evidence in front of us. He put all the evidence in the front of us. And we are seeing it every day. You want me to tell them? 
tell you, the moon, the stars, the planets, the birds, the animals, all these things are the creation of God and intelligently designed. They didn't make themselves. So right, the creation is the proof that God exists. Yes, my dear friend. Dan Baker. Dan Baker. You are saying that God does not exist, that we does not know God exists. Well, I know God exists. And all the true Christians know that God exists. How do we know God exists? Through his words and scriptures. Because God said he created the moon, the stars. He established the heaven by his wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Oh yes, and the Genesis story where God created the moon and the stars, the firmament and the heaven, and the water and the earth and the mountains, and all the herbs and the trees, different species of trees and the animals. Yes, these all these things are intelligently designed. They did not make the self down big Parker. And all your bands are clicker followers. I want you to know that. So you are saying they are intelligently designed, but it is never intelligent being person behind that. Well, he exists, God. You never see him, but he exists. But the day will come when you will see him. All mankind will see him. My dear friend, creation did not make itself. And there's nothing like no Big Bang theory. That's a nonsensical, foolish teaching. God exists, my dear friend, and God is real. My dear ba my friend, dear friend Barker, let's examine the fishes of the sea. All of them have different designs with different stripes on the back. All the, all the species are snakes. All of them have different stripes on the back. If they design the front way, that didn't appear there by guess. It's an intelligent creator create them that way. All the different species are butterfly. You will see this butterfly. You have five stripes on the back. Three spot here. And next five stripes is three spot. I think come by guess someone designed that. God the creator. Next species are butterfly. He has eight stripes here, eight stripes there with eight dots and eight dots. Sixteen and all. Yes, and, and so with the other species. Yes, it's God do that. That didn't happen by guess, my dear friend. I want you all to take a careful look at that. Have you looked, have you hold any butterfly recently done and examined the butterfly? I have done it in the past. And I see the butterfly, my little friends. I could hold them anytime and examine them. Will you humble yourself now and hold some of the butterfly each species? Or get a butterfly book with any butterfly? Ologists who have studied butterfly and show all the species of butterfly in the book and you will see all the designs of the butterfly. You will be marveled by the wonderful creation of God. He's a master designer. It is he who designed all these butterfly that way. It didn't happen by guess, my dear friend. Because looking at one design under the microscope, marvelous and lovely design by God. And next, butterfly, lovely design. That didn't happen by guess, my dear friend. The intelligent being God bring it about how wonderful his wonderful creation and you are saying that is not the evidence that God exists well I am saying that is the evidence that God exists creation is the proof that he exists and the evidence is right in front of your face and all the atheists like you that's the evidence what all you want again uh -huh. All you want God to come out to drop out the sky now. That what you want, Baker? For Jesus Christ to appear before you and say, I exist. No, he's not doing it that way. He could do it that way. But he chose not to do it that way. He put the creation in the front of us. So when we look at creation, we will buffer by his creation and we will start thinking, hey, but wait a minute. How man could design car, plane, boat, submarine? weapons and all these things have designed but no man can create the moon the stars the sun ah what god is what god is teaching you today, that he's the highest in all you see these things up there i create these things and no man didn't create these things but he gave us the ability where we could create a farm where we could create a table out of wood where we could create a, a motorcycle where we could create a bicycle yes but God creation is superior to that. Because with all the bicycle the manufacturers and them creating down here, manufacture a bicycle, none of them can create the moon. And with all the car company that creating the car down, none of them can create the sun. So the sun is more superior to all the cars down here. Am I making sense? Perfect sense. And that's what God is teaching us through his creation. Wake up to that consciousness. Reality. Wake up to rally to that consciousness, to that reality. That God exists. His creation is the proof that God exists. Dan Barker, before I come to the end of this video, video and all others like you, your colleagues, 
who are following you and you are following them because all of all you belong to the ATS club. My dear friend, all the electrical appliances that you have in your house, your fan, your TV and your radio, all these things are designed by the manufacturer upon the earth. And if you see what you accept, or your fan and your TV and your video, VCR and all of them have a design and they come with a manual instruction book. And you know that if anybody come and say, Dan Baker, the TV that you have in your house, it make itself, you won't say he's mad. If anybody come and say, Dan Baker, that VCR that you have, and you have in your hand for the video to go into play on your TV, it make itself, you won't say he's mad. Well, my dear friend, that's what God is saying to you, my dear friend. When you deny that he created the moon, he's saying you're a fool. When, when you deny that he didn't create the sun, God is saying you is a fool, Dan Barker. When you deny that he did not create the earth, God is saying to you, you are a fool. On the man come and tell you, someone created the TV on your own, on its own, and you said he is mad and he is crazy. Well, God is saying the same thing to us. Psalms 14, a fool in his heart say he is no God. A fool in his heart say there is no God. So when you say there is no God, Nobody didn't create the moon and the stars. God is saying, you are a fool. Because the man came, and this is as an example, the man came and told you, no one can create the TV. And you said he's a fool because you know the company down there is manufacturing the TV. Well, God manufactured the sun. But you deny he didn't create the sun. Well, you're a fool. Because you tell the man he's, he was a fool too. And he mad. Well, God is saying you is a fool. And that applies to everybody. So if I Eric Brax and deny, that God didn't create the planet Jupiter. God is saying, I is a fool. God is saying, he created the planet Jupiter. Because if anyone come and tell you, Dan, that watch that you have in your hand, it make itself and design itself, and you will tell him, man, he's a fool. Because you know the watchmaker down the road make the watch and he fixing it. But God is saying to you, Dan, if you deny anybody, if you, if you, God is saying to you, Dan, that when you deny that anybody did not create Jupiter, He's saying to you, you are a fool because God created the planet Jupiter. You get the message? You get the principle? Right, ponder carefully what I'm teaching you, my dear friend. So, Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye bye, my friends. Dan, listen carefully what this little Christian boy is teaching you. Yeah? I see I'm using classical example with the invention of man and the creation of God. Uh, you need to think very deeply now. You need to take, revisit what I'm teaching you and take a second look. And you have none of your atheist friends are wrong when you're doing that. Eh? You have to personally do that. And you'll see what I tell you is true. And start reading back the words of God and accept what God said that He created the universe. Now, when you get fully convinced now that God has created the universe, you will no longer be a fool again saying that God doesn't exist. Now you accept God exists. You will become an ex-fool now. And you see your atheist friends? Now go back and tell them God exists. So they will become ex-fools now. Now they become God-believers now, my dear friend. Are you willing to do that, my dear friend, Dan? I just pray and I hope that you make that decision at the end of the day. That will be the right decision on your part, my dear friend. My dear friend. So... I will be ended close, signing off on this juncture. See you in the next video soon. May God help you to make that right choice. Shalom, peace. Bye-bye, my friends.